This is Jeffrey Arend reporting tonight from Amsterdam, the Netherlands, where the International Air Cargo Association is conducting its 25th Air Cargo Forum November 2-4, 2010. Air Cargo Forum visits a different city and continent every two years and has conducted these shows since the Society of Automotive Engineers formed IACA and began this event that was continued by another group called TIACA in 1990. Air Cargo Forum draws several hundred people from an industry that saw volumes drop dangerously, as much as 25 to 30 percent at the height of the global financial crisis and recession of 2008 and 2009. Now, with world financials and markets looking healthy again, we wonder what lies ahead for Air Cargo after a week of networking, windmills, and tulips. And how about Amsterdam? What do you think of it? So far, so good. It's fantastic. Uh, obviously, to do some networking with the folks from the airlines and from the uh, from some of the uh, consultant firms that are here and the GSAs. That's uh, why I'm here. Well, certainly, uh, each of us have our own unique needs and interests. Um, I'm here looking for logistics partners who are interested in the last mile services within the United States. Uh, Forward Air has predominantly offered airport to airport services, but now we have uh, since endeavored into door to door service. So we're servicing 98% of the U.S. population right now. So, uh, Renee Espinay from Forward Air. You can catch us at www.forwardair.com or you can catch me at my email, which is respinay at forwardair.com. Looking to get brand awareness, not only in the United States, where we're pretty well known, but also globally. And that's the purpose for my visits in Asia and in Europe. If you'd like further information on developing air cargo topics, go to www.aircargonews.com. If you'd like a free subscription to Air Cargo News and to our thrice-weekly publication, Flying Typers, write to me, Jeffrey, at aircargonews.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and keep them flying.